In this video, we are going to learn how to create a lookup list and apply it to a field in your database. Lookup lists are useful for various things. Um, two of the most obvious would be to avoid uh, spelling errors or to avoid data entry errors in general. Or to another one would be to allow standardization of how data is entered. Um, what you don't want is two people entering the same data in a different way. For example, one person entering John Smith and another person entering for the same person um, J Smith. Because once you have that kind of data entry, um, your, your data becomes useless for the purpose of analysis. So whenever possible, wherever it's feasible, you want to restrict the user to entering the right, um, the right data. And lookup lists are useful for that. There are other much more sophisticated uses of lookup lists, but we won't get into that right now. The first thing I want to do is open up the project so I can look at um, where we want to use this lookup list. So I'm going to click on the input application. Kent remembers the last project that I was in. If it's the wrong project, I will click on File, Open Project, and select the correct one or I can just click on the Open Project button. The table is borehole and in the borehole table is a field called Drilled By. I want a lookup list of the names of the drillers. Now the project database is one file. Most other things in your GINT um, repertoire are stored in another file called your library file. So we're going to create a lookup list in the library file that will be referred to from your database. So for this we click on data design and you have two key tables here for what we're doing library tables and library data. First we're going to go into library tables and we want to create a new library table. This yellow drop down shows us all of our existing library tables. We're going to create a new one by clicking on the file menu and selecting New, or just clicking on the New button in the top of your screen. I'll call this um, Library Table um, Drilled By. And a key field name is required, and I'll call it Name. We have an option here to hide the, key, uh, the lookup key, and that can be useful if you're going to have um, under certain circumstances when you're going to have multiple fields, but this is just one field. Also with multiple fields you can decide how many of the fields the user will see. In this case we don't need to look at these two options. I'm going to click OK and I have a new table called Drilled By. And I have a new field in it called Name. And I'm done. There are other options, other properties of the lookup that I can um, I can access, but we don't need to deal with them right now. They're not useful for this particular exercise. By clicking on library data, I can see the same list in the drop-down of all my library tables, including most of which are lookup tables. Used for, they're used for lookups in your database. In Drilled By, I'll add some things to my, I'll stretch this out a little bit, and I'll add a couple of names here. Let's see. So I can always come back to library data and add, add data, add names for example. I can also go back to library tables and modify the structure, add fields. This table is just a flat database. It's just like an, access, I'm sorry, an Excel database, whereas my project database is different. That's a relational database. So I'm going to go back to input, clicking on the input application. Gint remembers the project I was in. Now, to associate this field with lookup, I have to go to its properties. There's two ways to do that. I could click on the field itself, anywhere in the column, and the tables menu, and select field properties. Or, I can just right click somewhere in the column, and select field properties. So this gives me the properties of the field. Notice the type 
and the name are not changeable here. We can create a new field from input, but we cannot change the name and the type. We can, however, associate it with a lookup. So this field here says lookup. We can click on the right of it to the expand button. And we're not going to use a regular lookup. I don't use them anymore. They're an old kind of lookup that Gint had from early days. We're going to click on Live TBL, which refers to user defined tables in current library. Here's a list of all my library tables. Whoops. And there's one called Drilled By that we just created. I'm going to click OK. And I have a couple of extra options here. If I click OK now, I now have a lookup list with these names in here from the library table, but I can also type anything in here. So I'm not really restricting the user to using the correct data. So it's not a very good option here. Another option is to right click, go back to field properties, and select must use lookup. That will restrict the user to just using what's in this lookup. If I try to type something else in, then it won't be allowed to. It will not let me type anything that's not on the list. That's okay, but there are some times where you want the user to be able to add data to the list. So there's the third option. Again, I'm going to right click in the column anywhere and select Field Properties and add this option for Allow Additions in Input. This is an option which you can use in library tables but not in the old kind of lookup lists and that's why I never create a regular lookup list anymore. For all lookup lists I create library tables and there's many other features of lookup of library tables as well. I'm going to click on OK and now I have the same list but if I add a new name to it it's going to prompt me and ask me tell me it does not exist in the library table and ask me if I want to add it. And if I click yes, now it becomes part of my my lookup list. And by clicking on data design and uh, library data, I can see the name was added. So adding a library, um, so adding a lookup list to the database is fairly simple. Now, if this is a change that you want to be in all of your future projects, then you must update your data template so that when they create, when a user creates a new project from the data template, it has this exact same reference. So for this, once again, we click on Tools, Make Data Template, and then in most companies, you'll just have one data template because I'm an instructor, I have many data templates. So we select the one we want to overwrite or we could create a new one, but typically you overwrite it and now any new project created from that data template will have this lookup associated to it.